Have you come across the terms FIFO and LIFO and have absolutely no idea what they mean? Or maybe you have a little bit of an idea but not sure how they work? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to help make this very understandable for you. But first, I wanted to mention that I believe something great is going to happen. Great is going to happen for you today. All right, back to the video. All right, this is just going to be a quick one describing the differences between FIFO and LIFO in accounting. This is a way of managing or accounting for your inventory. In a later video, I'll show this in action. But first of all, FIFO stands for first in, first out. So that's all that means. So the inventory that we have in this example we had a beginning balance of 100 units, and that they cost $20 per unit. So that's $2,000 worth of inventory. On March 1st, we purchased an additional 150 units at $22 per unit. That added an additional $3,300 to our inventory. And on March 10th, we only bought 50 units because the price has risen. Have we seen that lately? Yes, we've seen a lot of prices rising. The prices per unit is $25 per unit, so that added an additional $1,250 to our inventory cost. And again, this is a retail establishment or some establishment that is going to be selling these to somebody else, so this is their cost. And then on March 17th, the luck of the Irish told us that the price dropped to $20 again, so we stocked up with 175 units, so that added another $3,500 to our inventory cost. And then to round out the month, we'll purchase another 20 units at $27 a unit for an additional $540 worth of cost. I'm ignoring for the moment any kind of sales or of it of these items, we're just going to deal with the purchases. If we do sell the units, then under first in, first out, we're going to sell them starting with these units. And then when those are used up, move our way down to those units. And when they're used up to the next one and the next one. So for example, if our first sale uh, is of, let's say 50 units, they would all come from this group and our cost of goods sold would be $20 per unit. If, for example, our sale is for 150 units, the first 100 units would come out of here at $20 per unit, and then the remaining 50 units would come from here at $22 per unit. There would be no more here at this price, and there would only be 100 left at the $22 per unit price and we keep working our way down until all the inventory is either exhausted or left in our ending balance. So first in, first out, we're going to start out with the ones that came in first and sell the ones that came in last, last. Now let's talk about LIFO. LIFO is last in, first out. So in this example, we're going to be selling items in reverse. So let's say our sale is the first sale of the month, let's say it happens after these are in. So the first units we'd sell would come from this group at the highest price. And the next sale, once those are all gone, would come from the next group up at that price and working our way up in this direction. So if we sold 100 units here, we would take the first 20 units from the $27 per unit cost, and then the next batch of units, the 80 remaining for our 100 sale, would come from here at the lower price. And each group would be used up, and once they're all gone, once those other units are gone, we're going to move up to the next unit, next one, and next one. So that is how FIFO and LIFO differ. If you have found this helpful, please smash the like button, and if you've got additional questions, please put them down in the comments below, and I will do my best to make a video answering them. 
Now you know the basics of FIFO and LIFO, but you don't know everything. You need to see these in action. So subscribe to this channel and put on the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out regarding FIFO and LIFO. Keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.